So here's what happened. I was in Washington DC for a week for the Go Wild conference and when I got back, I did not go to the grocery store for another whole week because I wanted to challenge myself and see if we could use up what we really had at home and we did. So now it's time for a restock. I'm gonna go into Aldi. I haven't been here in a while so we're gonna see what we can find and then we're gonna get a grocery haul and a restock my fridge, so let's go. These strawberries look delightful and they are a steal, $1.69. That's crazy. I'm also gonna get some blueberries and some blackberries and I'm also probably gonna get some mango as well. I'm gonna grab some of these little mini bagels. Okay, I think I need some tortilla chips. I'm gonna grab these. I think I've tried this brand before. So I was looking at this protein pancake mix because I thought it was similar to Kodiak, but it actually has more calories in it, so I'm not gonna get it. I feel like this is new. They have like these fresh sliced cheeses. I know they've had the meats before, but not the cheeses. I've got the chocolate Lucky Charms for St. Patrick's Day, but I don't think I've ever seen these before. I'm gonna get some of these for the kids. PB&J bites. I'm actually super surprised that Aldi has Fairlife. I don't need any right now, but that's awesome. Here's everything that I got from Aldi. I also stopped at Hy-Vee to grab a few things too, so I'll point those out. But I did spend $337, which obviously we all know, groceries are getting more and more expensive. I used to be able to fill a cart at Aldi and pay around 200 or no more than 200, but big haul, let's go through everything. Grab a coffee or another beverage if you need to. I got some peppers, I'm gonna cut these up and we'll use them for salads or recipes. The kids also like to snack on them. I got some cuties. We go through these pretty fast. I normally put one, at least one of these in the kids' lunches every day when I pack their lunch. Um, I got some flat leaf parsley. My Aldi has been carrying fresh herbs now, which is something new. They didn't use to carry those. So I'm glad to see that. I like to have this on hand because sometimes I will make um, like a quinoa salad and I really like to put chopped parsley in there. I got some of these perfect pairing grapes. I got the half red, half green grapes, so the kids will be excited for those. Three pounds of strawberries, like I said, in the store. These were an awesome price. I have not seen them priced that low since last summer. I got a package of blackberries, a package of blueberries, and then some romaine lettuce. I got some baby carrots. I'll either cook these up for dinner. I still need to make my meal plan for this week, or I can also use these, you know, dipped in hummus or ranch or something like that. I wanted to try this artisan lettuce. I've never had it before, um, but it looked good. I thought I would either mix it with the romaine for salads or have it on sandwiches and wraps. I also got some cilantro. I just always like to keep this on hand for recipes. And then my Aldi has now started carrying coleslaw blend. They didn't used to carry this, but I was thinking that I would make this either as a meal prep or for a side for dinner one day. I'm not sure what which yet. And then I also got some cucumbers. Um, these are the mini cucumbers. I got some broccoli. Um, either for me for lunches or for a veggie side for dinner, not sure which yet. Um, if you've never tried this Fresh Express chopped kit, this is the works. Um, basically it's like everything bagel seasoned. It's really, really good if you cook up some chicken and put that in there, it just makes a super quick and delicious lunch. I got some cherry tomatoes. I, what's wrong, baby? Hmm? You've been kind of needy. You've been kind of needy today. Today, Adam was putting together some new furniture buffets that I ordered for the the dining room. And Milo, it's it's so funny. Like, if you guys have pit bulls, you know that. Or pit bull, well, he's not. He's a pit bull mix. But um, they're, like, scared of everything. So Adam had, like, the drill out and stuff. And so he's been, like, skittish. Like, <laughs> like all day. He was, like, hiding in Connor's bedroom for most of the day. That's a scary drill, isn't it? I know. I also got some shredded lettuce. I really also love having a bag of this on hand for tacos, or I also love putting it on bowls also. And then I got some lemons. We are out of those. Some bananas. We are out of bananas as well. 
some jalapenos. I will probably make jalapeno poppers out of these because I have some string cheese in the refrigerator. And then I also got some of these mango slices. Um, these are obviously a little bit more expensive, but Aldi is a great place to get them. I find that they're really great quality. Everyone really likes them. And sometimes if I'm gonna make mango salsa, I'll get these as well just because they're more convenient. And then I also got a bag of apples. I saw this Martha White sweet yellow cornbread and muffin mix. Um, when I saw this in the store, I was like, oh, I have some chili in the freezer that I could use up for a dinner. So that's what I was thinking for that. And then I also got some of my favorite turkey snack sticks. I love getting these at Aldi. Um, they're actually really good high protein snack. I will put them in like Connor's lunch or also if I'm hungry and it's like before dinner and I just want something quick to hold me over, I'll grab a couple of these with some string cheese. I got this at Hy-Vee. I actually had to go to Hy-Vee to get some flowers and a card for Adam's mom. It was her birthday. They had bologna on sale and both Adam and Connor like bologna sandwiches. This was actually on sale for like $3.16 or something like that, which is crazy for a big pack of bologna. I know not everyone likes bologna and I definitely don't buy it all the time, but stuff like this, like you would not believe how expensive <laughs> it has gotten. So I thought that was a good price. And then this is the deli sliced meat that they have at Aldi. I showed you guys this in the store. Um, so I got one pack of black forest ham and one pack of the turkey. Now the dogs want in. Oops. It's actually snowing, which we don't like this. We want it to be spring. It's March. You guys know that like kids are weird, right? They're weird about food and stuff like that. So Connor, whenever I get turkey, he's like, I don't like the stuff on the outside of the turkey. Like, you know how they slice it sometimes and there's like, I don't know what it's called. Like, car they put, I was gonna say skin. It's probably not skin. It's probably caramel coloring <laughs> on the outside of it. So I got this cause you know, maybe he'll like that. Who knows? Okay, I got some breakfast sausage links from Aldi. I'm gonna cook these up for breakfast tomorrow. And then I did get a couple packages of bacon. Maybe uh, use one for the jalapeno poppers and then just have one on hand either in the fridge or freezer. I got some cream cheese. I got this from Hy-Vee. So Kira really likes bagels with cream cheese. So I got some of the brown sugar and cinnamon cream cheese. And then I was also glad to see that they had the one third less fat Philadelphia in the spreadable container. So I got that as well. I got some half and half for coffee. And then from Hy-Vee, they are now carrying the Good Culture brand. So I got two containers of this. I use this a lot for breakfast during the week. I pretty much eat cottage cheese every day for breakfast. Um, I got some sour cream from Aldi because we were all out of that. And then I have not bought one of these in a while. My Aldi usually has these Panera soups. They had broccoli, cheddar, and baked potato. And I got the baked potato one because it had less calories, only 250 calories for this container. So I'll probably have that with a salad for lunch this week. Connor has been obsessed with applesauce. So I got some of the squeezable applesauce pouches from Aldi. And then also some of the O-Snap pickles. Um, I like getting these just because they're a convenient snack. I eat them, Connor eats them, Kira doesn't like pickles, what is wrong with her? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so this is the Oikos Pro. So it's 20 grams of protein yogurt with zero added sugar. I've never had this before, so I figured I'd try it. Um, I just got one vanilla and one strawberry. So if you guys have tried this before, let me know. That's, I don't know, like that, that is quite a bit of protein for a small amount of yogurt. So who knows how that'll taste, but we'll see. They had the yolk crunch at Aldi as well. And so I got this for the kids. I got some eggs. Eggs are actually coming down in price. So that's really good. These were, I want to say 233 or something like that. I know obviously they used to be like 86 cents <laughs> at Aldi. I got a couple of the cheddar cheese sticks. Um, Kira likes these and then I got some Swiss cheese to go with the ham and the turkey. I got some cheese tortellini um, Kira likes this. Hello, sir And then uh, I got some of these brioche buns So I might make burgers some night this week with these I'm not quite sure yet or I may make grilled chicken sandwiches I haven't quite figured that out yet. These are the Purdue chicken breasts and then I also got some mini bagels. Um, these are actually 
pretty big for mini bagels. <laughs> I've actually been using the bagel thins for myself, but Kira likes these. Actually, I will put them in her lunch sometimes. I'll just toast up a couple of them and put cream cheese on them and put them in her lunchbox, and she really likes that. Okay, so I saw this in the Aldi ad a while back, and they were talking about it on like the Aldi Finds Facebook page that they were really good. They have sweet and savory. I got the savory ones. It has both cheese sauce and mustard dipping sauce, so I thought we would try that. Looks really good. I got some of the Fairlife vanilla yogurt. So this is something that's fairly new in my area. I've purchased the peach one before from Hy-Vee, so I decided to get a vanilla one. So for two thirds of a cup serving, it's 120 calories and 14 grams of protein, which is pretty good. I normally will make yogurt bowls using this and um, I'll use like a low sugar granola or I also like to use the Kashi protein cereal and I'll put that on top with some fruit and it makes a really good bedtime snack. I did decide to get some cinnamon rolls. I might make those for breakfast tomorrow. I got those from Aldi. I got some of the Nutri-Grain bars from Aldi and then I'm bringing back the au gratin potatoes from the 90s. <laughs> I always remember like having these as a side for dinner at my dad's house. And I've made them a few times in the past couple months and everybody really seems to like them. So I just figure it's a good side for dinner to have on hand. And then um, I showed you guys these in the store. These are the restaurant style tortilla triangles. I always like to keep tortilla chips on hand for chips and salsa. These are the Aldi Simply Nature PB&J bites. I feel like these were a thing one time, like a brand name snack but I can't remember exactly where or who had them um, but I figured they would be good to put in the kids lunch boxes or bags for snack for school I got some of the peanut butter chocolate chip granola bars and then I got this for Adam he likes to keep some kind of like snack mix down in the basement at his bar so this is the sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix this is new I think they had several different flavors this one has Peanuts, Cajun style corn sticks, uh, roasted corn, honey roasted sesame sticks, and almonds. They had the oven ready Barilla lasagna noodles at Aldi. And whenever I see these on sale, I stock up on them because I make lasagnas for lasagna love and they can, these can be expensive, especially the no boil ones. So whenever they're on sale, I grab them. I got some egg noodles. I don't have a plan for these, but the kids really like these as a side for dinner, just like plain <laughs> buttered noodles. I got some sourdough bread. This is from Aldi, but I have some goat cheese in the refrigerator. And one of the things I like to do is make like a goat cheese toast with tomatoes. It's delicious. So grab that. And then I figured maybe we would have Reuben's, either that or use this for the turkey and the ham sandwiches. This is marble rye. I don't know that they carry this all the time at Aldi, but it's getting to be St. Patrick's Day week, so I'm assuming that's why they had that. I got some hot dog buns. We have some hot dogs in the refrigerator, and actually what I was thinking too is I could heat up that leftover chili. I mean, we can have chili dogs, so. Connor specifically asked if I could look for these, and I found them at Hy-Vee. They're the Doritos Sweet and Tangy Barbecue flavored. I guess they're new. Oh yeah, they say it right here, duh. New flavor, so I got those. I got some of the Rayo's tomato basil sauce. I got that at Aldi, it's a great place to get it. And then Connor really likes um, the barbecue boneless wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. And they had a bunch of different sauces there that I assume are supposed to be like Buffalo Wild Wings dupes. So I got this honey wing barbecue sauce. I'll figure out something to do with that. Some croutons, we were all out of those. And then I did get the limited edition uh, Lucky Charms because we haven't had cereal for a few weeks. We've been out so the kids were asking me if I could get some. I got some of the uh, Heart and Tail. These are from Aldi. They're the Rawhide Chews with Chicken. They're already open because I already gave the dogs a couple of them. And then I also needed some more scent beads for the laundry so I got a couple of um, containers of these. These are from Aldi as well. This is something that's like seasonal at Aldi and these are the potato tots. So they have two different flavors. There's one that's cheesy jalapeno. These, I think I've got these before. I think I remember they taste kind of like, have you guys ever had like the cheese jalapeno tots from Burger King? 
<laughs> they kind of taste like those, but they're a little bit healthier because you can obviously bake them or air fry them instead of fry them in oil like Burger King does. And then these are the bacon and cheese tots. And then I got some of these omelets. I really like these for breakfast. I have these with some potatoes and cottage cheese and it makes a really good like breakfast under 400 calories high protein so i got one three cheese and one ham and cheese these are both from high v i got some of the phillips crispy dim sum this was at aldi it comes with shrimp wontons shrimp money bags and shrimp spring rolls so my daughter kira has been pescatarian for the last couple months um, but she just informed me today that she's probably not going to be pescatarian <laughs> anymore. So, you know, teenagers change their mind. That's what happens. So she's like, well, I'll still eat seafood and stuff, but, you know, I'll eat chicken and beef too if it's something I like. So a lot of you have asked me, like, why she went pescatarian. I don't, I don't really know. She didn't really give me a reason. And I asked her about it several times and she didn't really give me a reason. So I didn't press her on it. I'm just like, you know, eat what you want to eat. It's like you decide that I'll support whatever you want to do. If she wanted to be vegan, I would support that. Like whatever, <laughs> I'm supportive of it. So it's gonna make me cooking dinner a lot easier. I'll tell you that. So that's why I kind of picked up some seafood products like I do every week, but obviously we'll still have those. It just won't be a necessity anymore. I also saw these on, I think it was the Aldi Finds Facebook page. This is the breaded chicken Parmesan patties. What I thought I could do is have these with the Rayo's marinara sauce um, and maybe the broccoli on the side and a salad or some garlic bread or something like that. Obviously, if you're a working parent like myself or even if you're just a busy person or you don't like to cook, sometimes it's nice to have the shortcut. Um, I got some popcorn shrimp for Kira, one bag of fries. These will be a side for dinner one night. And then I got the hash browns for breakfast. Um, I also got some of the pork sausage patties. So I have a package of English muffins in the freezer. And I think I'll just prep some breakfast sandwiches for Adam for this week for work with those and some eggs and cheese and the English muffins. Okay, so I saw this at Hy-Vee and I've been seeing this for a while, like online, and I decided I would try it because people say it's good. And I'm like, uh, is it really good? Like, is keto cereal really good? So this is a Catalina Crunch Cinnamon Toast Cereal. So you can see I did open it because I wanted to tell you guys, I tried a lot of it. I didn't try it with milk, I just tried it dry. And honestly, like, it's not bad. Does it taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Well, no, of course not. Is it a pretty good dupe? I would say yes. And for half a cup, it's 11 grams of protein, only 110 calories. So I guess I could put it on my yogurt too or eat it with some of that Fairlife milk. I got some, La, is it La Croix? Is that how you say that? Or I always say La Croix, but that's probably like an American mispronunciation thing. <laughs> this is the limoncello flavor. It's really good. If you've never tried it, it tastes like exactly like limoncello. It's delicious. Um, and then I also got some Diet Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi. My Aldi carries Diet Mountain Dew and Diet Pepsi now, which is nice. What have they done with the children and this marketing of the prime hydration drinks? I don't, have you, have you guys as kids and teenagers been asking for this? So I don't, I don't know where they're advertising this, but um, Connor has been asking me for this a lot. And I saw today at Hy-Vee that they had it in um, these cases. So I went ahead and got some of it. This is the ice pop flavor. He's tried a lot of the other flavors and he says that they're pretty good. So got those. And then I have a couple recipes that I wanna try with vanilla protein shakes. I don't drink these plain. Like, that's just not something that I like to drink. I have mixed them with espresso before for like protein coffee. This is from Aldi. This is just the regular vanilla um, high protein shakes. They have 30 grams of protein each. And then from Hy-Vee, I also got some of the milk bone dog treats because we were all out 
of those. Actually, I need to get greenies as well, but I'll probably just end up ordering those from Amazon. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Aldi and Hy-Vee. So I just wanted to show you guys what I do after I get home from the grocery store to kind of restock and prep everything. I am starting with the dog treats. I recently went through a pantry organization and gave everything dedicated containers. So I'll link that video down below if you want to watch that, but it has really helped me in organizing some of my dry goods. I do keep a fruit basket out on the counter. So I went ahead and restocked that with the oranges. And then we do have sort of a can holder that we keep in the refrigerator to store our diet soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill that as well. And any of these containers that I show, I will link them in the description box below if you are interested in them. Most of them I have ordered online or gotten at Walmart. I also keep a tray in the refrigerator just for the kids that has their yogurt and pudding and jello and different things like that. So I restocked that. And then as much as possible, I always like to take things out of the package and then recycle the cardboard and plastic. I have another one of these bins in the refrigerator that I just kind of keep random stuff in. A lot of times I'll put Connor's applesauce in there or Lunchables if we have them. And then I do really like these cereal containers. They're, I believe, Rubbermaid brand. If you ever struggle with stale cereal in the pantry, definitely get these. They keep cereal uh, fresh for a long time and they're also a lot easier for kids to use to be able to pour their own cereal. And then I have this dispenser for scent beads in my laundry room. It's actually mounted on the wall. This thing is so convenient. Like I know it's also like aesthetic <laughs> to look at it, which you guys know I'm not really like an aesthetic person, but I think it's just so great to hold the scent beads. You can have a couple different scents in there and it dispenses super easily. Next up, I'm gonna restock my eggs and I know that eggs already come in a container, but I really do like having them in this plastic container. It fits really well in my fridge and I also like that I can store more than a dozen eggs in there. Next up, I'm gonna get some of my produce washed. If you guys don't have a salad spinner, now is the time to get one. It seriously helps me wash all of my produce and I would never <laughs> be without it. In fact, I have two now because I wanted to try out the glass one that OXO released. So I'll link them both down below. I have a mini one as well for herbs. And basically for my fruits and veggies, especially the fruits, I do like to soak those in a mixture of cold water with a little splash of vinegar. That's just how I've always done it. I've noticed people now on TikTok are soaking their veggies and fruit in a baking soda water mixture. I'm not sure what's the most effective, so I'm definitely gonna have to research that. But definitely one tip that I have, if you're going to wash fruit or veggies ahead of time, just make sure that you put them back into the fridge as dry as possible. If they are still wet and they're clumped together, especially in a container that is airtight, they're definitely going to mold very, very quickly and they will break down and get slimy and you won't be able to eat them. So, and then I buy shredded lettuce a lot because I use it a lot for bowls and tacos and sandwiches and things like that. I have these airtight Rubbermaid uh, crystal clear containers, which these are really great for storing lettuce because you can squeeze a lot of the air out of the top when you close them. And I really do find that they keep my lettuce super fresh. So I usually put my lettuce into one of these and I just push the top down really hard so that some of the air comes out and seal it up and it works great. For the strawberries, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up and add them to this container that has sort of like a, a drain, drain holes in the bottom of it. And then there's a tray. Containers like this are also great because it helps to not keep that water pooling up on the bottom of the container. And that way your berries don't go bad as fast, especially for berries. I find that if we don't eat them by the time they kind of start to turn, I'll just put them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer and then we will use them for smoothies and different things like that so that they don't go to waste. But specifically for strawberries, I always try to get them washed and cut them up as soon as possible because if I let them sit in the fridge for a few days, they end up going bad and that is just money <laughs> that you are flushing down the, the drain. Another question I get about washing produce is when you wash your produce with vinegar, does it taste like vinegar? And no, I do not notice that at all. I just make sure to 
rinse everything off before I, you know, dry it off and put it in the fridge and it does not taste like vinegar at all. So here are my blackberries and blueberries and strawberries. I'm going to put a paper towel over those and put the lid on and stick it in the refrigerator and then we'll have those for the week. For my tomatoes, I'm just gonna put them in one of these oblong containers that has sort of a drain in the bottom. And I can link these down below as well. I got these on Amazon. They come in packs of three and they're pretty inexpensive and they work great because they fit really well in my fridge and they are dishwasher safe. For the cucumbers, I just soak those in cold water along with the peppers and make sure that I get off any visible dirt. And then I'm also going to soak my parsley and get that washed off. For parsley and other herbs like this, I find that especially if you get it home from the store and it's a little bit limp, just soaking it in that cold water can kind of reinvigorate it and rehydrate it. And then once I soak it, I just drain it and I spin it dry in the salad salad spinner. And I'm actually trying out a new herb container, which I actually really like. It is surprise OXO brand, <laughs> but this one has um, like a little basket in it that you can kind of lay flat, put your herbs in, and then you add it to the container with a little bit of water on the bottom. I haven't tried storing basil in this yet, but I think it would work really, really well to keep basil fresh. That's one thing that kind of goes bad really quickly. And this is probably like the third herb keeper that I've tried. And so far, this one is my favorite. Okay, same thing with the cilantro. I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, soaking and washed off. I always try to keep cilantro on hand. It's one of the herbs that I probably always have in my refrigerator. I just use it for so many different things, whether I'm making guacamole or pico or anything like that. And then for the peppers, I find that peppers are something that you can cut up ahead of time. And as long as you keep them fairly dry, they will hold up in the fridge for a couple of days. My kids really Really like to eat raw peppers so this is something that if I cut up a couple of them and set them out with lunch or dinner they will eat right through them I also like to have them on hand for salads and, and different things like that but you know one of the benefits of doing this all ahead of time when you get home from the grocery store is that you're not really meal prepping, right? But you sort of are ingredient prepping. And so having all of these things kind of on hand, ready to go in the refrigerator really makes it a lot easier for you to put meals together during the week. And I know that's super helpful for me, especially when I'm trying to eat out less and eat healthier. For my cucumbers, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those whole. And the reason why is because I find that if I cut them up and put them in the refrigerator, sometimes they can get a bit slimy and they really only last for a day or two, but if I've already got them washed up, I just put them in the fridge in one of these containers. And whenever I want one for a salad, I can just grab it out of the fridge and cut it up or cut some up to go with hummus or ranch for the kids. And for the cilantro, what I really like to do is I try to get all the water out as much as I can. And then I lay down some paper towel and I spread the cilantro out into a flat layer and then roll it up and just put it into a Ziploc bag. And I find that if you can keep this dry in the refrigerator, your cilantro will keep for at least a week. Sometimes it'll keep for about a week and a half. And then I also had a head of cauliflower that I wanted to get cut up. I did have to kind of shave off some of the edges of this just because it was a little bit, uh, you know how cauliflower tends to get a little bit brown on the edges sometimes, but I obviously didn't want to waste it. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this this week. I might make some cauliflower soup out of it. I'm not sure yet, um, but what I'm doing is just cutting this up into florets and then I'm going to add it to my salad spinner, soak it in cold water, and then I just usually put this in a Ziploc bag and keep it in the fridge and it will keep for about a week. Okay, so let me share a final walkthrough of the fridge with you. I just love starting out the week with an organized fridge. We've got our grapes that I washed up. Those mostly got eaten, so we just had a little bit left herbs. We've also got some leftovers in there. I also hard boiled some eggs and I like using those for egg salad and for deviled eggs throughout the week. We've got plenty of leftovers for Adam to take to work. I've also got my tomatoes, cucumbers, some mango greens, and then I went ahead and cleaned out my produce drawers as well. I did leave my romaine lettuce whole because I find that if I cut it up uh, too early, it will 
get brown. And then I also just took my uh, cheese sticks out of the bag and added those into the bottom bin. If you guys are looking for some meal prep inspiration, I've got a video here on the screen that I think you'll enjoy. So go ahead and click on that. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I know you have a lot of choices here on YouTube and I always appreciate you watching my videos. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.